one. What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna check out the Charvel signature model for Sean Long from the metalcore band While She Sleeps. While She Sleeps, I'm generally editing music or videos. Anyways, Charvel is doing it again and doing it in style. I like to call this kind of model, you know, elegant simplicity. It's got all the features that Sean Long wants and none of those that he doesn't. Real simple one here guys, you've got an alder body, one piece maple neck with bolt-on construction. You've got EMGs here, 66, 57 flip that around. It's a 57 and a 66. Uh, comes in yellow, custom yellow that you can only get with this guitar. So if you want this yellow pickup, it's 1200 bucks. Yeah, you've got a Charvel branded hardtail string through bridge. There's your battery compartment right there. Active electronics, one master volume knob, three-way selector switch, and no tone knob because we don't need one. No coil split because he doesn't want one. No tremolo, doesn't need it either. Inlays, nope, not here. But you do have the Luminlay side dots, which is always nice. You've got that really sick yellow logo there to match the yellow pickup. And uh, 22 frets, not 24, because how often are you using those last two frets? I mean, seriously. Yeah, this thing is just good to go, man. This thing is a killer. This is a workhorse. This is your everyday guitar. This is your take it around, bang it around, and just keep playing it, because that's what it's gonna do for you. This thing was a lot of fun for me to check out. Uh, I found it very easy to get some really nice guitar tones with it. And um, what else can I say? Charvel does a great job. I own several here at the home studio. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind picking this one up as well because it just plays well, stays in tune. It does all the things. <laughs> So lastly, I thought it might be interesting to compare this to my ProMod DK24 hardtail, which I've had here uh, for a couple of years. It's uh, right here. This is a 2020 or a 2021, so it's about, you know, give or take three years old. And this one is brand new. Now, obviously they are different models, but they have the same neck uh, specs and dimensions. And to be honest, both of these necks feel absolutely identical. I cannot tell them apart at all. And I think that really speaks to the consistency of the manufacturing, the quality that they have put, been putting out at Charvel in Mexico. These are both made in Mexico. And uh, if anyone says that made in Mexico isn't good because it's made in Mexico, they're wrong. If we're talking about build quality, I've never had an issue with a Charvel yet. And I've had at least five here uh, on the channel and uh, each one has been a gem. This model comes with Charvel's typical 12 to 16 inch compound radius, which is absolutely uh, just a joy to play. It's perfect. So it's a little bit more curve here for your first position chords or cowboy chords, what have you. And then it gets a little flatter as you go up the neck for more of the shreddy stuff and the fast licks. Uh, it just works perfect. I always thought it would be an issue too, to kind of get really low action with that because, you know, are you gauging it? from the 12 inch radius or you're gauging your action down here at the 16 inch radius or somewhere in between. I kind of make a happy compromise somewhere in the middle and uh, I still find that I can get really low action with these guitars, which is great for me because that's what I prefer. But honestly, uh, the necks are identical. 
The um, Charvel branded locking tuners are identical. They work flawlessly. I don't really care for the string trees. One, I don't like the look of them. Two, these really aren't roller string trees. They're just kind of faux. They have that kind of like that rod that looks like it spins, but it doesn't. These locking tuners, they are staggered. So the, the base strings are a little bit taller and the back ones are a little bit lower. So that kind of helps too. You can probably get away without the string trees, but you know, you might have a tendency to have to bend those strings right out of the uh, nut slots. That can happen. Overall though, I have to say that Charvel just continues to put out quality product. Uh, the build quality is flawless as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this is now my fifth or sixth uh, Charvel that I've had here on the channel and uh, each one has been perfect. Uh, just a joy to play. Never an issue with build quality. Uh, never an issue with quality control where they miss something and it just comes out wrong. They just hit the mark every time and this Sean Long guitar is a testament to that because this thing is so much fun to play. I kind of want to keep it. Uh, it's gorgeous. It sounds great. And again, the elegant simplicity of it all. Two pickups, three-way selector, master volume. There you go. Have a nice day. All right, so let me go through just a couple of uh, small things that I would like to tweak on this if this was my model. Uh, these are all just personal preferences. You know, your taste may vary, and that's fine. So first off, you've got the typical Fender block heel, which is just not comfortable to butt up against or hold it by. I don't know. With the modern guitars all doing kind of a scooped out something or other on the heel joint there, I just think that's an odd choice. Whatever. Uh, the Charvel branded bridge there, it looks similar to a hip shot bridge, but it's not. It's missing kind of those side metal pieces, and I'll, I'll put a little B-roll up here so you can kind of compare the two. It's just less comfortable for palm muting because your hand is essentially resting on the bridge saddle for the low E string, so it's kind of sharp and in your hand all the time. I don't really get that. Uh, whatever. You do have a Graph Tech nut, Charvel branded locking tuners. They work really well. I've got them on several other guitars. Also, one little gripe I have with Charvel, it's not a big one, but they don't really do stainless steel frets. These are not stainless steel frets. To my knowledge, Charvel only puts stainless steel frets on their USA customer, USA Select Series guitars, which are much more expensive. So, I mean, put the stainless steel frets on, charge us another 50 or 75 bucks. We don't mind, we'll pay for it. Charvel, please. Okay, um, deciding to go without the inlays, I think gives it that sleek, modern look, and I'm getting used to that. You know, I was a little finicky with that at first but now I'm kind of a convert and sort of prefer that look overall. You know, if you're gonna put inlays on, at least do the offset type of thing or something that's more original, like the vine inlays or something, but uh, no inlays here, so you can write all over it like Sean Long does, feel free, do it all day. The heel, the bridge, and you know, maybe for those that want the split coil tones, I like it once in a while, I think it's kind of cool, but he doesn't find it necessary. And if you're familiar with their music, you know that Sean Long uses a whammy pedal all the time in pretty much every song, so that's how he's getting his different tones and sounds and you know trick tones and all that stuff, which is really cool. Uh, so he doesn't need to have the split coil stuff because he's doing so much other things with his pedals. Anyways, this guitar is a serious workhorse, and it's been a lot of fun to check this one out. Currently this retails for $1,200 in the US, not a terrible price. This thing is a dedicated rocker, man. This thing is your go-to for uh, gigs and stuff like that, and it's gonna hold up really well because it just stays in tune. There's not a lot of trickery with it. You've got your three-way switch and your volume knob, that's it. This guitar rocks, love it. Really excited that I had the chance to feature this on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. And uh, if you stuck around to the end of the video, I really appreciate it, guys. Check out those links below. That's all I've got for you guys for today. Until next time, I'm out of here. See ya!